In this video, I'll be talking about deoxygen. I'll be talking about what deoxygen is, how you can download and install deoxygen, as well as showing you a quick example of how to use deoxygen in conjunction with Sega and Better Studio. Deoxygen is a program that can automatically generate HTML or PDF documentation from annotated C or C++ code. What that means is that if you create a project in Sega and Better Studio, program the project in C or C++, and then annotate it using the deoxygen syntax, the deoxygen program can automatically generate HTML or PDF documentation detailing the functions you've used, any constants, as well as any classes that you may have used. In order to download deoxygen, you can navigate to the link in the description. The link will navigate to this web page, which shows several different distributions of deoxygen depending on your machine architecture and specific operating system. You can also then download the deoxygen manual, which is a PDF document that details the deoxygen syntax. After you've successfully downloaded and installed deoxygen, you can then open the deoxy wizard, which is the deoxygen GUI front end. One important thing to note is that deoxygen can be executed in two different ways. You can execute deoxygen from the command line, or you can also execute deoxygen as a GUI, which you see on the screen. In order to demonstrate the functionality of deoxygen in conjunction with Sega and Better Studio, I've gone ahead and created a small test project that I've called Stopwatch. On the screen here, what you see is the .h interface of the stopwatch module. The stopwatch module does two things. It starts the stopwatch as well as stops the stopwatch and returns the amount of time that has passed. I've gone ahead and used the deoxygen syntax to annotate my code. As you can see, the highlighted text on the screen details what the start stopwatch function does, as well as a description of the different return values that this function could return. Because this function returns a boolean, the return values can be either true or false. True representing that the stopwatch started successfully, a false representing that some error occurred. A similar annotation style is used for the stop stopwatch function. And as you can see, the highlighted text is the deoxygen comments that describes what the function does as well as the different return values that you could expect, as well as a return value for the amount of time that has passed or elapsed since the stopwatch has been running. So after creating this .h interface, I can then go ahead and open deoxy wizard as you see on the screen. I'll go ahead and give my project a name, which is stopwatch, and then I'll also go ahead and point deoxygen to a source code directory which is where the stopwatch.h code is stored. I'll then also go ahead and tell Deoxygen where to put the output HTML, which contains the API of the stopwatch module. I can also then optimize my code for C or PHP output. Uh, since Sega and Better Studio is using C code, I'll go ahead and click on this radio button. I'll also then go ahead and click on the HTML checkbox since I'm expecting HTML output, but you could also generate latex output, which will in turn allow you to generate PDFs as well as hyperlink PDFs. Since the stopwatch module does not contain any classes, I will not be generating class diagrams, but you could as well generate class diagrams for your own personal projects if they contain any classes. The expert tab of the deoxygen program allows you to customize the output of the HTML or PDF. You can add your own custom style sheets to style the final output of your HTML. And you could also change some of the settings that instruct the deoxygen parser on how to pass your code. After you've configured all the settings required for the deoxygen program, you can then go ahead and click on run deoxygen and what you see is that the deoxygen program has passed through my code and generated an HTML output which I can view by clicking on this button at the bottom. So as you can see on the screen, this is the final output of my stopwatch project. The output contains a brief description of the start stopwatch function 
a brief description of the stop stopwatch function, as well as the full detailed description of the functions at the bottom here. It also contains the type of data that is returned by the function, which is Boolean, as well as any input parameters to the functions. So this is basically what the oxygen can be used to do in conjunction with Sega Embedded Studio. You could also do some more complex projects that include classes and you can have class diagrams in your output. But for today, this is all I had and thank you very much for watching this video.